In 2016, scientists discovered the closest exoplanet to Earth, Proxima Centauri b. What made this discovery so exciting wasn't just the short distance, but also how similar the planet seemed to Earth. This raised big questions. Could life exist there? Could we survive there or maybe even colonize it someday? Based on scientific articles and recent observations, let's explore the surface of Proxima Centauri b and see what we might find. You're watching Kyanite. Proxima b orbits Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star located just 4.24 light years away from us. Because Proxima Centauri is a small red dwarf star, about 14% the diameter of the Sun, it is cooler. When it comes to planets, we can consider the discovery of the system to be fairly recent. The search for planets around Proxima Centauri began in the early 2000s. Scientists believed there could be a planet orbiting this star, but it took many years to confirm. In January 2016, a project called Pay Red Dot was launched. This was a global effort by astronomers to carefully observe Proxima Centauri using telescopes from different parts of the world. On August 24, 2016, the European Southern Observatory announced the confirmation of Proxima Centauri b, after several years of Doppler spectroscopy measurements of its parent star. There is a possibility that other planets exist in the Proxima Centauri system besides Proxima b, but more observations are needed to confirm this. Without this initial information, let's begin our exploration. As we approach Proxima Centauri b, we start to notice some features that remind us of Earth. Proxima b has about 1.3 times the mass of Earth and is believed to have a diameter of around 14,000 kilometers. This is promising, because these measurements suggest that the planet's surface gravity could be similar to that of our home planet. We also notice that it orbits very close to its star, only about 0.05 astronomical units away. That's only 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun. The difference, however, is that Proxima Centauri, being a red dwarf star, is much smaller than our Sun. Due to its close orbit, Proxima b completes a full revolution around its star in just 11.2 Earth days. In other words, a year on Proxima b lasts only 11 days. Despite being so close to its star, Proxima Centauri b lies within the star's habitable zone, the region where temperatures might allow liquid water to exist on the surface. In theory, this makes the planet a potential candidate for life. Even though we don't know exactly what the surface is like, we have some idea of what it could be. Scientists gather various observation data about Proxima b and use computer models and simulations to study possible compositions, structures and atmospheric conditions of the exoplanet. Proxima Centauri b likely has a surface full of small mountains, large valleys and deserts. It would be possible to look up and see Proxima Centauri and two other stars in its system. On a clear night, we could even see the sun we know, far away in the sky. A beautiful but distant glimpse of home. So far, the environment on Proxima Centauri b seems ideal and very inviting for human life or future colonization. But not everything is that it seems. Proxima b is bombarded by high levels of ultraviolet and X-ray radiation. You might think that a smaller star like Proxima Centauri would be a calmer star, but that's actually not the case at all. Red dwarfs produce violent solar flares a lot more frequently than the sun does because their nuclear fusion cores are much closer to their surface. This makes their surface much more chaotic, resulting in incredibly strong magnetic fields. In turn, those strong magnetic fields can blast intense high-energy radiation into the surrounding system. Based on all this, we can understand that life on Proxima b would only be possible through adaptations far beyond anything we know on Earth. Scientists estimate that the stellar wind hitting Proxima b could be 4 to 80 times stronger than what Earth experiences. In 2021, a massive flare around 100 times more powerful than any ever recorded in our solar system erupted from Proxima Centauri. Some scientists believe these intense outbursts could gradually strip away the exoplanet's atmosphere, if it has one, and eliminate any surface water that might exist. 
because of this, one of the biggest unknowns about Proxima Centauri b is whether it has an atmosphere at all. An atmosphere is essential for life, it helps control surface temperatures, protects against harmful radiation, and makes it possible for liquid water to exist. On top of that, it is theorized that Proxima b is tidally locked, with one side always facing its star. Imagine living on a world where you face a scorching sun all the time while the other side of the planet is in constant frozen darkness. That's what life would be like on this planet. In this case, we would have to live in a strip of land between light and darkness, called the Terminator Zone, where conditions could be ideal. Given these conditions, scientists estimate that the planet has an average temperature of about minus 39 degrees Celsius, assuming it has no atmosphere. If we consider the possibility that an atmosphere exists, then surface temperatures on Proxima b could be higher and potentially more suitable for life. So far, we have not directly imaged Proxima b or detected any signs of life. Although there have been claims of detected radio waves and even reports of artificial light that some speculated could come from a city on Proxima b, none of these have been scientifically confirmed. To get clear answers, several organizations and scientists are already thinking about how to explore Proxima Centauri b in more detail. One of the most ambitious ideas is called Project Breakthrough Starshot. This project plans to send tiny spacecraft called nanoprobes to the Alpha Centauri system. These probes would be pushed by powerful lasers and could travel at up to 20% the speed of light. At that speed, the journey to Proxima Centauri would take about 20 years. Each probe would carry cameras and instruments to take pictures and collect data. After flying by the system, the probes would send the data back to Earth. Since light from Proxima Centauri takes over 4 years to reach us, we wouldn't get the results until more than 24 years after launch. This technology is still being developed and many challenges remain, but if successful, it could be the first time humans get a direct look at a planet around another star. Proxima Centauri b is more than just a distant planet, it represents the next frontier in our search for life in the universe. If Proxima b is suitable for life, then it could also mean that the galaxy is teeming with similar worlds. After all, red dwarf stars are by far the most common in the Milky Way. Scientists think that 20 out of the 30 closest stars to Earth are red dwarfs. Finding another Earth-like planet, especially one this close, opens the door to many possibilities. It challenges us to learn more about planets outside our solar system, to develop new technology, and maybe one day to travel beyond the stars. For now, Proxima Centauri b remains out of reach, but with each new discovery, we take one step closer to understanding this nearby world and our place in the cosmos. For more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. See you next time.